Hey guys, what's up? So what we're going to be talking about today, this video is going to be a challenge. It's going to be a slab zone versus jerkbait challenge. We have two hours to see if you can catch the most fish. Me my friend Jake on the other end. I'm going to use the jerkbait, he's going to use the slab zone. We're going to do it that way. We're just going to do one point per fish. Whoever catches the most fish wins. Hopefully you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's go out there, let's catch some big fish. Hey guys, what's up? I am out here in a different spot than normal. Guys, making a little change up here. I just got one, there we go. All right guys, that's number six. That's not a bad one either, look at that. Dude, it's a 10 pounder right here guys. We got ourselves a state record uh, striper. Look at that guys. We're gonna do a little video here, the slab versus the jerk bait. Slab's winning right now. Slab is winning right now. It is actually 10 to 6. There's number 7. Look at this guys. Woo! Pretty. Oh, that probably wasn't the best spot. Alright guys, and this is the bait that I'm throwing right now. It's just a uh, pink top and then it goes to a chartreuse back. Just working it from one side of the bank to the other. I mean, we're just talking like five, what is this, like five yards, 10 yards of space. There's another one, guys, number eight. And here's number eight. I'm using slightly smaller hooks than I normally use. As you can tell, it's a lot more work with this than the slab. A slab, you just rip them off and you're good. Probably like 10. Number nine. Gotta be foul hooked or something. We won't count this one actually. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, no, he hit the back of the head. If it was in the mouth, I would have counted it. As long as there's one hook in the mouth, it counts. Oh. Technically, it would be number nine, but we're just gonna let it slide. Still at eight. All right, guys, let him go. Let him go to see another day. All right, it's 10 to eight right now. How these striped bass are extremely aggressive. Oh my God, he just smacked it. Might be a little better one, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, that's a little bit better. All right, guys, there's number nine, finally number nine. Yeah, that's a little bit better fish. It's probably the biggest one I've seen out of here. I'm using, you know, 30 pound braid. Look at that, guys, that's a chunky 14 incher maybe. Not a bad one. All right, guys, my goal is to reach up to Jake's number. He's at 10, I'm at nine. Let's see if I can make it happen. Just need one more. There he is. Number 10. Number 10. Got lucky too. He got one hook in the mouth, one in the side. Pretty one too. Guys, what I'm doing too is instead of a Oh, oh, it's a pull back in the leak and he holds it on and he does. All right, so Jake just came back and got that fish. So it's 11 to 10. That's the same size. That's not a bad one he got right there. I'm a little salty. Um, what I've been doing right now is I'm using this clip. I'm not even really, so I lose a little bit of action, but these fish are just picking the bait up so quick. It doesn't even matter. Just pitching this bait, waiting for a bite. Oh, there we go. Number 11. If you can stay on, stay on, stay on, stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned. Oh, he came off. All right. For some reason, I can't keep these fish pinned for the life of me. All right, I'm gonna burn this bait in this time. See what picked it right up, burnt it in. Oh my God, I've lost like four in a row. Yep, guys, you lose fish on jerk baits. Don't use them ever. Still can't get to number 11. Okay, there we go. Stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned. Bring him up, bring him up, bring him up. Yes. Finally tied it back up. And forget about it. He's got another one. It's funny though, like you would think I'd have three times more fish, but it's like, I miss, I miss, I miss. I know, getting them double ups, baby. Oh, there we go, number 12, so we're tied back up. There we go, guys, there's another one. 
And come on, number 13. Take the lead. Smack. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so salty, guys. I don't think you understand. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. 13, 13. Oh my god, that's a better fish, dude. Definitely a better fish. Here we go. Here we go. That's a better fish. Better fish. Come on. Come on. Stay pinned, baby. Stay pinned. I got 30 pounds. Oh, that's a better fish. Yes. <laughs> yeah, baby. It's like an 18. 13, 13 right there, boys. That's about a 17, 18 inch stripe. Yes. 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 Tied it back up. That's a chunky fish right there, boys. He smacked the crap out of it. Nah, it's not. There we go, number 14. Oh, wait, don't you have 14 now too, right? Yeah. It's 14 to 13. You got one more than me. All right, so it's 15 to 13. 14, 15 right there. There we go. 15, 15 right there. You gotta be kidding me. 15, 15. All right, it's right now 15 to 19. There we go. 16. Sorry guys, I kind of went MIA for a while and uh, tried throwing a frog around for 20 minutes. Jake's on number 21. I'm on number 16. There we go. Oh, that was a nice one. Son of a... Yeah, I know. That was actually one of my bigger fish of the day. It might have been 17, between 17 and 20. 18 to 22. Dude, this one's been caught already. 18 to 22. 23. 23, 18. All right, guys. It's 19 to 24 right now. Feels like 19 to 99. There you go, 26, 19. Uh, maybe I got him on the side. You might have got him on the side. There we go. Number 20. 27. 27 to 20. Oh my god. There we go, number 21. 21, 26. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. 22. Oh, that's not a bad one at all. Oh my God, way bigger than I thought it was. Look at that. Oh my God, that's a 21, 22. That's crazy, you get all the big ones every time. That would be keeper if it was in season. 22, 27. I can't lie, I lost the challenge. I stopped using the jerk bait, but we're just gonna go see if we can catch more. It's probably gonna be uh, the Kai Tech. We'll see. Oh, 28, 22. There we go. Number 23. Oh, it's a sore. Probably got hit. Buy another blue fish or something like that. 24. There we go. 24, 24. 24, 29. 25, 30. Five behind. 11.49. We'll wait till 12. Give it 10 more minutes. There we go. There we go. Number 26. 26 to 30. All right, guys. 
Everything ends at 12 o'clock. It's 26.30. And there we go. 27. All right, guys, my 27th fish egg. Hey guys, what's up? You're probably wondering, like, what? My GoPro died. And, uh, you know, I'm saving the rest of the footage, all that uh, my friend Jake caught for his YouTube channels. He ended up winning 31 to 28. I think we ended at 19 to 25 or 26 or something like that before I switched over to a, a Kai Tech swim bait. My biggest issue, to be completely honest with you, was I was using a clip to switch my baits out. You know, before I restarted the challenge, and I was just like, you know, I'm gonna leave that on. I don't feel like cutting braid and losing line every single time. Uh, it was probably a pretty poor move because I lost a lot of action with the bait. You know, especially with a smaller bait like that, it kind of depends on that action. I was still getting fish with it because there's just so many fish packed in one little spot, but it just wasn't really that effective. Like it could have been, like it really should have been. That's why I wasn't really catching a ton of fish, but I was catching fish here and there. 15, 20 minutes, I probably went with the uh, the frog. I know the video quality is poor because it's at night. I don't really prefer doing night videos because I know that it's really hard to get good footage from it, especially if you're not on a pier with a lot of lights. So, you know, I'm going to try to stay away from too many night fishing videos unless it's like something I can use a big, nice light and get really good footage with it. Like, like if I do cut bait fishing, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I apologize for the facts. It just kind of ended abruptly, but Jake won 31 to 28 overall, uh, 19 to 20. It might have been 19 to 25, 24, 26, something like that. You guys will know in the video. I was looking over the video and realized, you know, I didn't really emphasize too much. There were some catches I didn't put in the video. I had a headlamp on. I turned off, and you just it was pitch black. You couldn't see anything. So I took some of the catches out of the video, but I tried to put as many in there as possible. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, tight lines, screaming drags. And we'll see you guys next time on the water. Is that one of them banjo minnows? I like them banjo minners. I catch a lot on the banjo minner.